64% of long-term absences at work are for mental health challenges. And 40% of US workers say that their job has a negative impact on their mental health. 52% of all workers are feeling burned out, up 9% just from a couple of years ago. Even with all the talk of well-being, resilience, and psychological safety, comfort with talking about mental health challenges with senior leaders has nearly halved from 37% in 2021 to just 19% in 2023. 35% of workers do not engage anyone about their mental health challenges, and 86% would not offer help to anyone with them. I fear that these stats are set to get worse, far worse, in these turbulent times of constant uncertainty, competing demands, and perpetual crises. The impact can be crippling, both to an individual's capacity to deliver and to an entire organization's capacity to compete. Resilience and everyday well-being at work are not nice to have perks, but essential for reaching and sustaining high performance. Put simply, without leaders and team members who have mastered resilience and self-care, stress, burnout, and behavioral problems are likely to grow, interrupting and disrupting all our ambitious plans, strategies, and investments. I learned this early in my working life. In my 20s, I cracked under the pressure of years of fast growth entrepreneurship. The ensuing breakdown and burnout cost me and our company in myriad different ways. I've also suffered from a crippling disease, fibromyalgia, also called chronic pain syndrome, since I was a medic at Cambridge, where the most senior doctors in the land told me to deal with it with a stiff upper lip. I have learned that if I do not actively care for myself across various types of resilience, I get backache that stops me standing, brain fog that stops me strategizing, and excruciating pain that limits my capacity to lead and to live. After my last leave of absence over 15 years ago, I committed myself to never being toxically stressed or burnt out again, so I could always sustain incredible high performance and constant innovation. So I crunched hundreds of research papers and triangulated the evidence on well-being and resilience with everyday wisdom passed down through philosophy and through the wisdom traditions from the ancients. Taking your brief, I will work tirelessly to amplify your messages and elevate your ambitions while remaining independent as a thought leader, challenger, and inspirer. Every one of my keynotes is customized to meet and exceed expectations and connect with your specific audience to unleash energy, momentum, inspiration, and traction. In your keynote, I could share what uncertainty, anxiety, and stress do to our brains and our bodies, how fragility shows up in both individuals and organizations, and both the known and lesser known signals of impending burnout and overwhelm. The differences between resilience, robustness, and what I call regenerativeness or anti-fragility, which is the ability to take even our most intense difficulties and turn them into growth. How to help colleagues to cope with difficulties and crises, as well as look to transform the root causes of distress and dysfunction. How to avoid wellness washing and be seen to be taking mental health and well-being as seriously as it deserves. And our accessible and evidence-based framework that anyone can use to systematically build more resilience across nine domains of power. 